Number one on our list of items that might be hiding in your closet that you don't even realize is old bridesmaid dresses. Now this one is your classic 2008 style. I'll never wear this obviously again. These bridesmaid dresses, they're poofy. They take up a lot of real estate in your closet. So let's just all gather them up and donate them. That's number one and we've got nine more to go. The next item that likes to hide in the back of your closet and take up space is old swimsuits that are worn out or you just don't wear anymore. Open up your drawer of swimsuits or dump out the bin and take out each suit and find a strap or a little piece of elastic on it. Give it a little tug and if it makes a noise and does not go back to its original shape, it's time to get rid of that swimsuit. The next item that you should get rid of out of your closet that's probably lurking in there and you've long forgotten about are those lonely, sad, single socks, which kind of makes them sound sort of sad. But those are the socks that don't have a pair and occasionally you try and set them up on a little blind date with a different not matching sock and you go out for the day and they come back and they go through the wash and then they just sit in your drawer again. All of these little socks, you just gotta find them and just get rid of them. You might have more than you think and it will clear up some space in your sock drawer. The next thing that might be lurking in your closet, shapewear that doesn't give you the effect that you were looking for when you bought it. So I have an example of that. This is an extremely <laughs> unattractive piece of clothing, but I bought it, I don't know, to wear under some dresses or something at some point. And if I recall correctly, the top kind of rolled down and the legs kind of rolled up and pretty soon I was getting all these extra bumps and lumps and everything that was not desired. And so I don't even know why I still have this, but I am going to get rid of it. <laughs> The next item that's pretty camouflaged in your clothes that you need to probably get rid of, and I speak from experience here, is anything that's safety pinned together. I'm actually wearing a tank top right now that is literally safety pinned together. And this has been like this for probably a couple of years and I should just sew it up. But if you're not gonna sew it up, maybe just get rid of that item of clothing and get yourself something that actually is sewn together like a real piece of clothing. The next item that you should get rid of from your closet are jeans that don't have the right rise for whatever your particular rise preferences are. So for me, I like the high rise. Anything less than high rise is not comfortable on my body. They're taking up space in your closet. You can't tell what the rise is necessarily when they're all stacked in there. So that's how they hide. But if you go through and you find them, you can usually find some pairs of jeans that are not comfortable. So get rid of all those jeans that don't have the right rise. Another thing that I think that you should get rid of out of your closet that's probably hiding in your workout gear are sport bras that don't support. <laughs> so I'm talking about sports bras that you used to wear and you've washed them and worn them so many times that now they're just, they're just like nothing, just like a soft band around your chest and it doesn't actually, you move and it's not supporting anything. So these have to go. Speaking of workout gear, the next thing I think that you should get rid of out of your closet that's probably hiding in a drawer somewhere are workout clothes that don't fit your current workout needs. So say you went through a big cycling kick and you bought some of those padded bike shorts and some pinnies or whatever people wear when they go biking and they were awesome looking and you were amazing as a cyclist and then you kind of just moved on and maybe you're more of a runner or a walker or you a swimmer or whatever and you have all the cycling gear that you're never wearing anymore this is a great time to kind of donate it or sell it or just get it out of there because these items were pretty much all inspired by going through my own closet and finding things that I kind of had forgotten about got shoved to the back of my closet but that I'm trying to go through and get rid of now. So I don't know, comment below if you think I should keep any of this stuff, but I'm just considering everything guilty until proven innocent. So most of it's going to just go. The next item that you can probably get rid of out of your closet likes to hide in high places. So check your top shelves and see if you can find any extra 
hats. I'm not someone who wears a lot of hats besides maybe a baseball hat, but for some reason I kind of end up with all these hats because every time we do go someplace warm, I feel like I need to buy a new one. And when I'm on that trip, I think, oh, I need this wide brimmed hat. And then I never actually wear the wide brimmed hat. I just wear my more practical hat. So hats also take up kind of a lot of space because you got to keep them all, you know, in their shape. And so just go through, find all the hats you don't wear and just donate them. The next item that likes to camouflage itself in your closet and probably makes every decluttering video you've ever seen are shoes that hurt your feet. These are shoes that give you blisters or they're just uncomfortable. Um, this could even be shoes that, you know, you just don't wear because of just the style of shoe. So find all those shoes you don't wear or that hurt your feet and donate those shoes. I recently did another video on decluttering your closet and a method you can use to create a more minimal wardrobe. So be sure to check that out if you haven't already. I'll put a link in the description below. And if you like videos like this about decluttering and organization, be sure to subscribe and give this video a like if you liked it and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.